going on, y'all? Uh, I've got a video for you. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to post this one. Not be lazy. Um, today is 3-24-2013. If it's not posted by two hours from now, y'all can bitch at me. Okay. Anyways, so i got some stories for you guys. Um, first off, um, let me see, where's that notebook? Hold on one second. I found out her damn name again. Gotta give her a shout out because I feel like being a nice guy. Sorry. Okay, Coke Dipping Chick. We'll give her a check out. She's a cool chick. I like her videos. Um, also, go check out Gridiron Dipper. Pretty cool Canadian guy, eh? you know. Um, he knows what he's talking about. Anyways, um, yeah, go we'll give those guys a check. Go we'll check them out. Pretty cool people, pretty cool videos. And uh, you know what they're talking about? <laughs> Just teasing, teasing you, good iron. Okay. Um, so, first story. Uh, hold on, sorry. Girlfriend. Um, anyways, so a couple days ago, um, Friday actually, this last Friday, uh, I came home uh, after lunch and um, took a shower, watched the Duck Dynasty, whatnot. Now I walk up there, I get all dressed nice and everything, got like a nice tight shirt on, had my shades on, and I uh, have a cowboy hat on. It's looking pretty damn good, right? And I went to go, I had to take a shit, so, and the AMP and bathroom was, in, was uh, it was in use, and I was like, I gotta take a shit, I gotta take a bath. So I went over to Rite Aid, took a dump, and, um, on the way out, um, I'm a friend with this girl. Maybe we 20, mid 20, something like that. And, um, I said, sorry, you know, I'm a friend of India, sorry. She says, it's okay. We walk out, and, um, like we're in the middle of the parking lot, she's like, she behind me, and she was like, you got a nice booty, and I'm like, thanks, but, and her friend was all like, I was checking him out too, and she's up by her truck, and I walked past the lady in it by her truck, and the person was walking by, she's checking me out too, I don't know, it was weird, um, Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then went to the house and uh, went to her house and uh, um, hung out with her for a bit. Went out with her friends and uh, went down to Oroville, had some pizza with some of uh, her friends down there, and then uh, kind of set up fucking round table for fucking five hours. Um, bullshit, bullshit, uh, bullshitted a bunch and everything. Um, and then today, um, we're going to Kite Day, which basically, you go up, we go up to Chico, there's this park there, and it's just, it's just a day for families to come out and fly kites and whatnot and have fun, you know, family out and whatnot, have picnics, some shit like that. So I wake up, I had gotten in trouble yesterday, and I got my phone taken away, and, uh, uh what you call it, um, My phone taken away, and I, and I, she didn't. I didn't get text her back and tell her that I was getting my phone taken away. So, and she was up in Megalia, where there was like no internet service. So I couldn't even let her know on my iPod that I was okay. Um, but anyways, um, I wake up. I wake up and um, so I text her saying, hey, you know, uh, we're coming to get you soon. Because I thought she was at our house. I didn't know she was at McGillia with her friends. And um, I called her like a thousand times to guess she was asleep and whatnot. So, finally got a hold of her. We uh, we drove up to McGillia. 
right in the, back in the backwoods too. Um, went and picked her up. Uh, we went out to Chico, got some subway before then and whatnot. And uh, we just got to the park, you know, we sat down and chilled, we walked around, dipped a little bit. And um, there was this black guy there that had a Confederate uh, flag blanket, it's a black guy. And I was just like, <laughs> that's a little contradictory, a little contradict, kind of contradicts each other, black guy with a Confederate flag blanket. It was funny, you know, I thought, I thought it was kind of cool. Anyways, yeah. That was a day. I don't know. Pretty pretty normal day. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty nice out today, actually. It was getting pretty hot. And then, um, came home, took her home, whatnot. Uh, so now for my segment. Hold on. Here, here's my little segment. We'll go back to my gears. Is, uh, when people make re remarks about my girlfriend, you know, she's pretty short. She's like about four seven. I'm six foot, so it's a pretty big height difference. But it hates me. It bugs the shit out of me when uh, people make slight remarks about her about her height. You know, it's just like, come on, have a little respect. You know, she's a woman. She may be short, but she's still my woman. You don't talk to her like that. I'll put, I'll fucking, I'll punch her straight in the face for it. Um. How about that? Um. Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, today's been a weird day, but, you know, other than that, you know, it was a pretty good day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, hope you all are doing good. Um, hope everything is going good with your family and whatnot, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Um, anyways, uh, follow me on Twitter at Viking underscore Dipper and follow me on Instagram. I actually changed it this time, so now it's at Viking underscore Dipper. Um, yeah, I changed it, so now you guys will be able to find me better. And then add me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Viking period Dipper. And I will catch you guys next video. Uh, take care and see you guys next time.